Hi, I'm Gail from Our Space. Hi, I'm Peggy from Our Space, and welcome to another one of our craft videos. And we have with us today our special guest. Hi, I'm Ayala. And I'm Amel. So what are we making today? We're making silly animal toast. Ooh. So we each have a different animal. Yes. Great. All right, so before we begin, we're gonna start with one of our breathing exercises. And today we're gonna to do a butterfly breath. So we're gonna, our arms are gonna be our wings and we're gonna hold them together, palms facing together. And as we breathe in, we're gonna bring our wings out and then breathe out and flap them. All right, so we'll do that two times together, okay? Wings in, breathe in, spread them out, breathe out, flap your wings. Okay, and one more time. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, good butterflies, everybody. Yes. Great, feel very relaxed. So Amel, what supplies do we need for this craft? For this craft, you actually only need three supplies. You need toast, um, nut butter or cream cheese as your spread and fruit. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna start and explain how I made my fish. So I used a piece of toast and I put cream cheese on mine. And you can use anything like the nut butter, you can use Nutella, whatever works. And then I took strawberries and bananas and just kind of sliced the strawberries and that's the scales of the fish. And I just kind of layered them on and you can kind of do it whatever way you want, but just, you know, make them go all the way out. And then for the face, I did a banana, banana slice with the blueberry in the middle. I'm gonna take my blueberry from my other fish. And then for the fins, you cut the banana, one slice of banana in half so that you have like a fin like that, that you can put on the end and you could also put it on the sides too. Great. So whatever works. All right, that looks good. And remember, if you need help, cutting the fruit, please ask a friend or a caregiver or a parent, someone to help okay. me with the cutting out. Okay. So Gail, um, what did you make? Well, even though I'm allergic to cats, I decided to make a cat. Um, and here's mine and I'll just explain it. I'll just show it. So I used um, a gluten-free toast. And then I used, cause we have a lot of allergies in my house. so. I used gluten-free bread and I used almond butter as the base of the cat. And then I did strawberries like this for the ears. I cut blueberries in half for the eyes, another little strawberry for the nose. And then I did little strips of sliced apple for the whiskers. And so I have a cat that I'm not allergic to. It's <laughs> cute. Thank you. I'm gonna make another one while you all show what you made. I can show what I made. Okay. So I made a little monkey. Aww. I actually used an English muffin because I wanted the face to be very round. <laughs> my spread, I used Nutella, kind of spread it in the circle. I used the back of a spoon to get into a circular shape. And then like Peggy was saying, I cut my banana into halves. So I made the two ears and then I made the mouth out of two halves of the banana. And then I didn't have blueberries, so I made mine a little extra sweet and used chocolate chips as the eyes. Oh, yeah. Nice. Can you hold that really close up? Yeah. Can That's you? super cute. Love it. I love him. <laughs> awesome. They have personality. Yes. <laughs> uh, I love how we all use different spreads because um, I used peanut butter for my owl. Um, and I... Started off by 
getting all my fruit slices on a little plate. I spread the toast with peanut butter. I um, added the bananas where the eyes were gonna be. Um, I sliced strawberries the tall way and I used the little slices for the wings. Um, I sliced a raspberry in half and put that down for the beak. I sprinkled a little bit of coconut flakes on the chest because um, I thought it would look kind of like a like a snowy owl's like fuzzy chest, you know? So you could, if you have coconut flakes, you could make it fuzzy all over if you wanted to. Um, and then I put a little bit of um, peanut butter on two blueberries and then stuck them on to the banana. Right, like glue, kind of. <laughs> exactly so that I can really he's pretty sturdy <laughs> <laughs> that's super Very cute. cute I love that um I want to I want to tell one little joke before we go and while you are working on yours um so why does bread not like hot weather why does bread not like hot weather I don't know because it just makes it feel a little too toasty <laughs> good one <win. laughs> thank you so we can all work on these finishing up if yeah. we haven't later I have two cats now little cat family um if you would like to see more of our craft videos you can go to our website at www.ourspacerocks.org happy crafting bye, bye.